Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I listened to a gentleman talk the other day about how luxury prices were starting to come down and starting to come down pretty hard. I've also read a couple things nationally that luxury is starting to see some cracks. So I thought I'd dive in and look at our local numbers and see what I can figure out. And I got to tell you, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I'm going to share these numbers with you and then you tell me in the comments section what you think. Did you see any indicators here? Whether it's going up or going down or is it just seasonal? Let's dive in and take a quick look. And when we look here, this is our change in annual average price by square foot. And the annual price and uh, over 10 million is up 25.9%. 7.5 to 10 is 2.5. And then you see anything over 5 million is up 14%. 3 million is up 5.2. Hi, Rick here. If you're thinking about locating to the Valley of the Sun, be sure and click the subscribe button down below and the notification button so that you can be up to speed on the market here in the Phoenix area. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, Jessica and I would be happy to help you. All of our contact information is in the description down below. So now this is information that's May 3rd, which means those offers were written probably first part of April, last part of March. And other markets, other price ranges, <coughs> not faring so well. 450 to 500,000 down 2%, 400 to 450 down 1.9. Most of the interest rate sensitive prices are down here. Up here, rates don't really affect buyers that much. So that's where we are in annual price per square foot. <coughs> now let's look at monthly sales price per square foot. And you can see that there's a decline that we went from April of 850 to in May to 7. 24 so that went down pull over and look at active listings now active listings it's all supply and demand so if listings are way higher than what you know we've normally see out there that puts pricing pressure on the downward side and last year at this time we saw 784 homes in this price range which is above i think 2 million so 2 million and over 3 million we have 118 if i add 1.5 million in there then we're going to see a number here. Well, it pulled everything up. So let me change that while I got you here. I'm going to go 1.5 to over 3. See what we're looking at. So we're looking at 1,570 listings versus 1,104 or 1,095. So on the chart, it looks like a lot. It's about 400 homes, which is considerable. So the inventory has climbed, as you can see here, in luxury listings. And it's starting to decline now. Next thing I look at, too, is listing success rate. I listed it. Did it sell? And that took a big nosedive. We had a high of 65 here in April 24, huge high in February of 22 of 83%. And now we're all the way down to 40%. I mean, look at that. We went from a listing success rate of 65% to 40, 25% drop in one month. Now, keep in mind, in that price range, it does this all the time. So you really have to look and see what the trend is. As you can see right here, the trend is up. So is the trend going to continue down on the listing success rate? Because sometimes in luxury, the listing success rate can get kind of ugly. See some down there at 21% overall, 12% in luxury. Sales per month. Obviously, month of May, <coughs> not going to show us much because we're just getting started. April was pretty good though. So the sales were there. So in the luxury market, people were not giving up. If you look at percent of closing with seller paid concessions, there isn't a whole lot that goes on in that price range. Even at their peak here, only 20%. And we're running about 43% all the other price ranges. And then last month, we're sitting there at 10% with a contribution of 17,900. So not a whole lot going on there. Isn't it interesting to note, though, that there are some months where there's no contributions for closing costs? Again, it's luxury. They don't worry about interest rates. They don't worry about closing costs. Number of price changes per week. This is kind of telling. So this is where you're seeing the headlines saying that prices are coming down. Now, I always ask the question when I see this, are prices coming down or or um perception of what they think they can get for their home is that coming down 
because if actual average sales price per square foot is coming down, that's a different story than price reductions. For example, I want a 1.5 million for my home. I think that's what it's worth. But in reality, it comps for 1.2. But I think the market's brisk. I'm going to ask 1.5. After a while, I figure out that I'm, I'm way off. I'm wrong, so I'm going to drop it to 1.2. Does that mean that the real estate market reacted and prices are plummeting? Or does that just simply mean I was wrong? I think it means I was wrong. We see that all the time. Um, in a market that's kind of starting to pick up, or if people hear that they're getting this or hear that somebody's getting that, they're always going to shoot a little higher. So keep that in mind when you look at these numbers that show you number of price changes. doesn't necessarily mean the market is tanking. Finally, here's the question on seasonality. I thought, well, everything's slowing down because we're getting up to our hot time of year. We're going to be 100 over the weekend. But then again, in May, it's not too bad, as you can see. May is 2077 in those price ranges. June, 2066. Now, when it gets hot in June, people back off in luxury. So closings in July, August, and September are the lowest that we see over the course of the year. So as we move forward, you're going to see less volume. Less volume doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to have bad prices. It just means there's not a whole lot going on out there. You'll see a lot of cancellations people cancel for the summer come back and give it a shot another time so i don't really have a good answer on luxury unfortunately except to say let's continue to watch it it looks like there's a little bit of a pullback maybe some stresses in luxury it all depends on the stock market and uh, as of this recording the stock market's doing pretty well um, earning season for q1 were surprising and Earnings were quite well for a lot of different companies, and that drives the luxury market. So it's just one of those numbers where we got to keep an eye on it. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, rick, rickhelps.com. Take care.